welcome to this vlog. I am currently headed from Atlanta to Tampa, Florida for the Eras Tour. This flight was honestly like 50% Taylor Swift fans and it was so much fun. We were already trading bracelets. Once I landed in Tampa, we basically headed straight to dinner at the Columbia restaurant. This place was established back in 1905 and it's famous for its Spanish Cuban cuisine. It was so good. They give you your own plate of Cuban bread, which was delicious. And I got the salmon, which was also really good. Afterwards, we walked along the Tampa River Walk and then we basically just went back to get some rest. The next morning, we headed to Buddy Brew Coffee in Hyde Park Village, and it was really good. We got some coffee and we got some breakfast. Then we took some time to walk around the village. We saw this really cute little library, and this is just a really nice place to walk around and see some shops. Then we found this really cute little plant shop called Leafy Love Affair. It was really beautiful in there. The workers were super helpful. I obviously couldn't bring back any plants with flying, but my friend did pick up a couple. Then we headed back to our Airbnb to get ready for the concert. We watched some of the Reputation tour to get us all hyped up. Okay, so I wanted to share what I'm going to be bringing in my bag for the Eras tour, as well as just some fun little extras that I picked up for the concert. So this is the bag that I picked out. It's very cute it reminded me of lover but at, um, raymond james stadium actually has very different bag regulations than a lot of the other stadiums i've been hearing so it's technically a no bag policy but basically it just has to be this size i think this is like the max size that you can have and even though it's a clutch size it does still have a strap which i really liked but definitely check your venues bag regulations a lot of them have to be clear ours did not again it just had to fall within this very tiny size so just make sure that you definitely check um, the bag regulations so i'll just share a couple of the things that i'm bringing obviously working with limited space here so only can do so much but first thing is some ibuprofen some band-aids enough for um, all three of us girls to use one if we need an air tag and this is basically i'm just going to leave it in my purse in case i lose my purse i can track it down and next is a portable charger. So that's another thing you need to check your stadium's regulations about chargers. Ours are allowed, I believe, I hope. And honestly, I got this at the Target dollar spot, so it was $5. So if they make me throw it away, I won't be heartbroken. So that's why I picked this up. And it is so thin and compact if you check your Target. They probably still have some. Um, next is earplugs. I don't know if I'm going to use these, but I thought I would bring them just in case. So my friends, they actually picked up the loop um, earplugs, which I've heard really amazing things about. So we'll see. Um, but they are supposed to protect your ear health, which is really important. And I thought I would bring a pair just in case. Next, which I'll probably wear, are my friendship bracelets. I'm so excited. Um, got those to bring and over here for medicine I brought some Hepto-Bismol tablets just for tummy aches as well as a um, allergy medicine just in case we get the sniffles so that's about all I can fit in my little bag and over here we have some fun concert things that I picked up first off is this sparkly face glitter by ColourPop I'm not exactly sure what I want to do makeup wise yet but I just thought this was such a pretty purple and it's like a gel consistency so it's not just loose glitter which is really nice so we'll play around with that and see what we end up doing and then from Amazon I also got this like bejeweled kit for your face. I got this, I think it's, um, it comes with some eyelash glue, I think is what it is to help you stick on the beads. But I thought this would be really fun and it comes with plenty to share with my friends if they wanna add some too. 
And then over here are some little accessories that I got from Shein. My costume, I'm going for like a sparkly debut era look. So these butterfly clips are really cute. This came in a little set and then the tiny ones, I'm just going to sprinkle throughout my hair and it's going to look so cute. And then we have some jewelry pieces. We've got some mirror ball earrings, of course a snake ring for reputation. And then this one reminded me of the birds from the 1989 cover, super cute. And then a little Midnight's inspired bracelet. I really wanted to kind of attempt to represent other albums with like my nails and my jewelry pieces. So just some fun little concert extras that I'm bringing as well. Then it was time for the concert. We grabbed a drink and we went to our seats and we were so excited. I still can't believe that that weekend was real. I'm still processing everything, how amazing it was, how amazing she was. It was incredible. If you have a show coming up, I'm so excited for you. And I can't stress enough just enjoying every moment of it. Get so excited, getting ready with your friends, blast her music while you're getting ready, make the friendship bracelets. If you are traveling for somewhere for the concert, explore the city that you're going to. Just enjoy every moment of it and make a whole event out of it because it really is so special. Um, I did want to share just a couple tips that I learned. The first one is pretty obvious and you've probably already heard it too, but that is to wear comfortable shoes. You are going to be walking so much. You don't even know, especially after the concert when we had to walk to where our ride was picking us up. I was so thankful that my shoes for the most part were very comfortable. So huge suggestion there. Another one is the loop earplugs. So these are not something that I personally purchased or tried, but both of my friends did and they said they were amazing. They cut out a lot of the background like crowd noise and they could just hear Taylor like crystal clear. So again, I didn't choose to purchase them, but in hindsight, I kind of wish that I did because they also protect your ear health, which is something that is so important. And they, again, they said that it overall just enhanced their concert experience. So they're a little pricey for earplugs, but I'm gonna link them down below in case you wanna take a look. Oh, the dogs are excited I'm home and they're playing. Um, but other than that, we are just back to our 
regularly scheduled programming around here. We're doing a spring cleaning weekend this week and we're also going to be working on our tr outdoor transformation and starting my garden, which I'm super excited about. So if you wanna see updates on all of that, then definitely subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.